The beast of Jabrudan is a creature that was held responsible for at least 60 deaths in the 1760s in France. Several traditional depictions of the beast of Jabrudan show the variety of physical characteristics that have been attributed to this monster. If there was a real animal behind the sightings, it is obscured by a great deal of folklore. Locals believe it was a werewolf, or more specifically, a sorcerer who shapeshifted into a werewolf in order to hunt human flesh. It was supposed to be bulletproof as well, until the day a hunter named Jean Chastel tried a silver bullet. It has been speculated that it was a hyena trained by Chestool, but this does not fit the logic or description. Descriptions of the beast varied so much that most researchers believe there had to be at least two of the creatures. If indeed the panic wasn't causing the population to incorporate almost any large animal into these sightings, the color of the beast's fur was especially variable. Sometimes it was red, sometimes red with light gray patches, or red with faint stripes along the back. Other times it was black with white patches spotted all over. If you added up all the different descriptions and then create a and created a description out of all these characteristics that are mentioned consistently by all the witnesses then the beast would look something like this. Part 1. The Beast's Appearance The beast is a quadruped about the size of a horse. It reminds witnesses of a bear because of its size but is almost said to resemble a female hyena. It has a long wolf-like or pig-like snout lined with large teeth. The ears are small around, laying close to the head. The neck is long and strong. The tail almost resembles the long tail of a panther, but it's so thick and strong that the beast uses it as a weapon to knock men and animals down with it. Anyone struck by the tail reports that it is a strong, considerable force. The feet of the beast are the hardest to describe. Some say they are cloven hooves, while others say they have thick, formidable claws that merely resemble hooves. Since there does not seem to be any more sightings of this animal in France, or any historical precedent for animals like it before the first sighting. It is a hard creature for cryptozoologists to tackle. Most mystical animals that are taken serious by cryptozoologists have some sort of history that indicates they could have had a breeding population in ancient times. Single animals that are hard to handle for cryptozoologists. On the other hand, all available evidence seems to indicate that if the beast was real, there seems to be two kinds of it. If we wanted to, we might be able to presume that a mated pair or a small pack migrated hundreds of miles to reach France from some area where such creatures previously existed. Part 2. The Conclusion it would be nice to be able to declare the beast a hyena, a bear, or an escaped lion, or something like that. But in order to do that, you must disregard eyewitness testimony, of course. In this case, eyewitness testimony is so riddled with the supernatural that we would have to disregard some of it anyway. But if we accept the core description of the beast as having any validity to it, we must acknowledge that the creature's description really doesn't resemble any living animal. Parts of it which match wolves, hyenas, panthers, 
and bears, of which hyenas are probably the best fit. But we run into some serious problems when we try to bend witness testimony to fit a known animal, unless we toss it all up to superstition. If the beast existed and wasn't a normal animal, then what was it? Most depictions put forward hybrid or deformed versions of normal species that most resemble the beast, like hyenas. If the beast was a new species or subspecies, then there are several possibilities. It could be a new species of bear, big cat, or some sort of prehistoric species of hyena, or something even more exotic. There is, in fact, a type of animal that fits the core description of the beast, but it is extinct now, and would hardly be expected to survive in Europe of all places. This group of animals would be called Mazonekids, a presumably extinct group of hoofed predators. The biggest Mazonekid was presumably the size of a horse, almost always described as large, pig-like animals. As you see, there are many explanations to the beast of Jabodan. Scientists run from one explanation to another as fads come and go. Almost everything that is remotely conceivable has been proposed as an explanation.